Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to the Wednesday morning update video. So, this, I know a lot of you guys are new to my channel. Uh, this is a little bit different. What I do every single Wednesday morning is I talk about what we've seen in Fortnite in the past week, as well as what will be happening later today. As you may well know by now, every single Wednesday, and I do like that they're actually moving completely towards this, I hope they keep it around for version 8. Every Wednesday afternoon at, I believe it's 6 p.m., Eastern, I think it is, or 7 p.m. Eastern. I think it's 7 p.m. Eastern <laughs> in about, uh, oh, 11 hours, 10 hours. There is going to be an update in the shop. The weekly shop will reset as well as we are going to see the new Frost Knight event. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> that's all that we really have that we are getting new this week. The new Frost Knight, the reward within it, etc., etc., the banner and the weekly shop reset. So let's talk about what we've had this past week, what we are getting, and what to purchase in that shop. So, first and foremost, we have right there Stylin' and Profiling, the mobility, style, and flair. Put your own spin on the game with the new Drift Board, found in most zones throughout the world. So, I did find this. Uh, if you guys want to go check out, I released a video yesterday talking about the Yeoman Sniper Rifle, which, again, highly recommended you purchase it. Uh, so I went ahead and got it, and when I went into a match, I found it. I found it just floating around there, so I went ahead and jumped on it. It is really, really interesting. Now, the one thing I have to wonder about is, if I look at the challenges, there are no challenges here for... Um, for it there are no i don't think there's even any side quests are there twin no no there aren't there aren't any side quests for it but you are able to get yourself points within it so you can do they they, they don't the points for from what i've seen the points don't matter for anything but you you can actually do tricks on the board i haven't really had a chance to test it out i want to make some ramps i want to see if doing the those things that gave you more speed, you know, for the hoverboard matter there. If they'll give you some more stuff, I, I don't know. You can definitely boost quicker to your objective. But apart from that, I didn't really see any other difference or any other change, I guess, in, in having it. So no tactical or offensive benefit. Uh, I don't know if you guys out there have found out any reason why we have it or if there's anything that we can really do apart from jump on it and jump around the map a little bit uh get to the objective and discover the map a little faster um yeah let me know let me know because i'm very confused about that board but you know what they may have something else that they're going to do with it in the near future it would have been cool if it would have been just some sort of upgrade to our current hoverboard. But let's keep going. Let's look in the upgrade shop. And right now, I have myself an upgrade llama, which, yes, I will be yes. purchasing this upgrade llama at the end of this video. Um, I'm really tempted to buy these people llamas. And let me explain why. So right now, this people llama is silver. It's going to give me 200 tickets if I get it. I've got a legendary lead there. Nothing important. But if I purchase this one, I might have something better next. You guys know we've been getting a lot of mythics and some really good, you know, mythic leads. Some really great legendary survivors. And that's what I'm looking for in the game right now. But I'm going to have to hold back. As you guys can see, I only have 1,200 V-Bucks. I'm going to try and get actually done today my dailies, which uh, let's take a quick look at those. Today my dailies are, I have uh, Shotgun Extermination, Extermination Sniper Rifle. Oh, perfect. I'm using the Sniper Rifle now. Uh, let me go ahead and pin this quest. And Daily Scouting of Suburbia, I only have one left. So right here I could get myself another uh, 150 V-Bucks, so that would be really nice. I'm definitely going to be focusing on grinding those daily V-Bucks. Um, and a lot of you guys might know that uh, just the whole how we're getting V-Bucks now in the game and they've taken them away from a lot of the missions. So definitely daily is an important thing to do. I'm going to try and go as long as I possibly can without buying V-Bucks. I'm pretty sure they're going to throw us a pretty big llama here or there. So I'm going to have to buy some more soon. But I'm going to try and pull away. I'm trying to not purchase as many as I need because I already have a lot of what I need. Huh? And yeah, I need a couple of more legendary survivors here and there so i'll keep buying those and also the 
these daily upgrade llamas, I still have 19 tickets or 19 free ones. So why not purchase them from there? So uh, the next thing we've got our lunar llamas, mini llamas, and winter llamas. Yes, I will be doing a video very, very soon opening 100 of these. It might be this weekend. This weekend might be a great big llama opening weekend i'm going to be doing that as well as i will be opening a hundred of these uh 50 50 maybe 75 25 i don't know i think i need to start with the winter llamas first and make sure i get everything there first and then go into the lunar llama for the next one and finally we have our weekly items so Right now, I'm sitting in 2,803 gold. Uh, if you guys watch the stream, I will be streaming today. And actually, I'm probably going to be streaming just Fortnite all day long. I'm going to be grinding as much gold as I possibly can today. The biggest one here is the Yeoman Sniper Rifle. If you don't have it, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, thank you to everyone who commented and gave me hints and advice. I will be changing mine. I will be changing mine as fun as it was. Uh, or as fun as it is currently, <clears throat> I really think that I'm going to be moving into a different direction. Also, I need to farm a lot of epic and legendary, uh, well, not so much legendary root perk, but uh, epic perk up. So, uh, epic perk up, I'm going to be on the hunt for epic perk up today. That's definitely going to be very important for me. And over on the event side of the, of the shop, you guys know that these guys are around for one more week. We no longer have the cap so this is the last week guys this is the last week in 10 hours 10 hours and 30 minutes at the time of me making this video it's almost all over guys <laughs> we're winding down we're winding down the last week of version 7 guys um if you haven't already i highly recommend you to get these four here the armory slots air heart wow melee I, I can't believe that air heart was in this series in this in this um uh, in this uh season event whatever version uh, Sub Zero Zenith, highly recommend him. I've been using him nonstop. I'm loving him. The Legendary Survivor, of course, you can get that one. And then up here, I would recommend you to go ahead and get these four guys. If you get them and you still have more gold left, the Copper Bazooka and, of course, the Zap Zap, my favorite, favorite weapon of all time. Definitely, I would also recommend that you try and get them because they're awesome. They're really fun. Uh, I love the Zap Zap. If you want to see some Zap Zap gameplay, just come to my stream. Uh, you can ask and I'll show you guys what I do with it. But the Wukong, Lynx Cassandra, Ice King, and Cloak Shadow, these four right here are going to be part of the new heroes. Uh, well, no, actually Wukong, no. I don't know if they said Wukong would be. But for sure, Cassandra, Ice King, and Cloak Shadow, they will be part of the new hero rework that we're going to be seeing in version 8. Very, very excited for that. So highly recommend. Right now, even if they're not great right now, their bonuses might change. Something might change in them that may make them very, very valuable to you. And you guys know how the event stuff happens. Event stuff comes and then it's gone for months, if not a year sometimes. It's crazy. It's crazy how some of these happen. So highly recommend if you have time, if you have the gold to go for it. I'm going to be grinding gold all day today. I don't know how much I'm going to be getting, but I'm going to try and get, I'm going to try and see how much I can get today. Um, I'll probably be streaming about eight hours today, maybe longer. So we'll see how much gold we can get in a full gold grinding day. It's going to be like gold grinding Wednesdays from now on, because <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, over on the weekly side, of course, I would recommend that you get the armory slot tokens. Always very important. I'm going to get those right now. Uh, and this is an order of importance. I say this all the time, so I'll say it again. My first order of importance is always whatever the, the weekly event weapon or hero is. In this case, a yeoman. That's the highest important. Definitely go get that. Then in the weekly stuff, always get the armory slot tokens. Then get yourself the reperk. This is going to be a little bit. It's a thousand right there. A thousand gold. Quite chunky. Uh, and then after that, I go into the uncommon and the rare perk up if I haven't, if, uh, you know, if I need it. And then after into the upgrade materials of course the pure drops of rain lightning in the bottle eye of the storms and storm shards and if you still have gold after that i would go into the legendary and the rare flux because oh sorry legendary and epic flux because you never know when you're going to need those uh so if if that's something you know you're looking to upgrade like i am recent or in the near future i'm going to be upgrading a tet shot just from rare all the way to legendary so you never know when you're going to need that but that's in my order of importance definitely the item of the week then armory slots uh the reperk and then the epic the uncommon and rare 
Currently, I'm sitting on a good chunk of uncommon and rare. I've got 22,000 rare and 15,000 uncommon. It is slowly going away though, so I'm going to purchase it anyway. Right now, I have 1,500. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and get it right now. I, I'm, I'm going to keep getting them just because, you know, I'm not going to be going into lower level missions to get more. So it is, for me right now, it is worth it to go ahead and purchase it. Oh, there's still one left. I don't have enough. My, my. Okay, so I still have, uh, I just have to go get one more. So we'll have to get one more. And then I don't know how I'm doing on upgrade materials. Uh, yeah, I'll probably try and get the upgrade materials as well. Definitely worth trying to get them. But there you go. The very last thing that I want to talk about is the dragon weapons. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get around to doing these. Um, I got to tell you guys, if you want to get it, go ahead. It's not the greatest um, the Dragon Fist or the Dragon Fire that's coming, the shotgun, you are going to use other weapons that are going to be much more valuable. I did actually do half of a video kind of explaining them and going through them. Um, I, I don't know. If you have the extra 1,680 gold, sure, go ahead and get it. Definitely, if you don't have it in your collection book, I highly would recommend just for that reason because you guys know putting stuff in your collection book will really, really help. If we go to my dragon weapons here in my collection book, um, it's right there. I have them both right there. So it really does help if you have something to put in your collection book. I may try and get it. I may try and get it, you know, for future purposes here. But for now um i don't know i'm gonna have to wait and see if i have enough what if i have enough gold by the end of the day to merit getting it still but i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you very much for watching as always <laughs> i am duj2 we're looking forward tonight to the new frost knight which is the one that's going to have a bunch of extra stuff don't forget right now for a frost knight week seven uh, the top it off is ending right now. So today in 10 hours, you get the Love Ranger if you still don't have him and you're going to get yourself 1500 gold. Definitely, definitely worth it for that. Actually, I don't know how many Love Rangers I have. Let's see. I have one leveled up somewhere here. Uh, there's my leveled up one and let's go to soldiers. So there's my leveled up Love Ranger. Do I only have, I only have one more. Okay. So can I put him in the collection book? Oh, I can. All right. So there you go. He's going to go in the collection book. That's going to really help me out. Um, unless I already have one. Springtime Heroes? No, I don't. I do have two. Okay. So I do have two. Which two do I have? Okay, the 130 and the 20. All right, perfect. So one of them is, one of them is going to go in the collection book for me. Collection book coming uh, video coming soon. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. I already said that. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. And have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you very much to all of you using my creator code. Wow, you guys are amazing. I, I can't even begin to express my gratitude. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.